All right, everyone, welcome back. So today we are going to be taking up to the skies. As you can see, we have a lovely little hot air balloon right here, but I wanted to build something larger. Now, before we get started with today's building, I already know somebody is going to say it because we have a big crossover of Hermitcraft viewers on this channel. I know that Tango Tech uploaded a video recently where he was building a giant airship. This idea that I have has actually come from before that video was uploaded. I just never got the chance to actually get around to building it. So before anybody says anything, I already know. Okay, I did not copy Tango Tech. Okay, there's always going to be one. There's always going to be one in the comments that tries to relate the two. They're not related. Anyways, all jokes aside, I actually had no idea that that video was going to be uploaded. And this idea won't be anything related to that one at all. They're going to look very different. So today's build, I think, is going to take place over here. I have wanted something in the air of this area for a very, very long time. So we obviously have this hot air balloon right here, which is a nice one. It is pretty cool. I do like the design. It's very classic looking. I wish I would have done a little bit more of a spherical shape for the actual balloon. As you can see, it's kind of a little square in my opinion, but I'm a much better builder now and I really wanted to build something over in this area right here. I wanted my whole base to look just very busy, lots of vehicles, lots of buildings. And I think this is a great place to put one because there's a massive gap over here. And well, if you're wondering what I mean, take a look at this so you can see our base has lots and lots of height to it. Some buildings, they extend very high up into the air. For example, this castle, our main base with the storage room around here. But over here, look at this. There's not that much height. We obviously have the Sunflower Hill. But as for anything on top of it, this is our highest peak, which I think is kind of outweighed by a lot of this stuff. So I want to have something right in this region right here because of how open this feels. Eventually, later on down the road, all of this stuff is going to get covered up. So you won't be able to see any of this area over here, which is going to leave this open. And so I want to have the airship right in this space. I think it's going to look really, really nice. So I think I'm going to build it facing... Um, probably this direction something like that either going from left to right here or right to left and it'll be built horizontally we're not going to build it vertically going this way with the clouds we'll build it against and i'm going to do the same thing where on this one you can actually see we've used grindstones and fences to make it look like it's been tethered down and chained down so that it's not flying away and I really like that idea. So let's get started with today's build. I think this is gonna be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to work on this today. So I guess let's head up to the Sunflower Hill and let's pick our spot and I'll show you guys build palette. Let's go. Okay, shall we get started? So, so this is the sight line I'm talking about right here. So I think we're gonna tether this thing to the windmill right where that creeper is standing was where we were talking about the whole thing look at all the mobs in there what is going on over there okay anyways today's design is completely original it is not based off of anything whatsoever so i have no idea how this is going to turn out today i don't have any inspiration uh for this so i'm gonna kind of just wing it that's like what uh that one was right there i'm pretty sure i just winged that one as well it was built such a long time ago though that I don't even remember, but I don't, I don't remember using a reference for that one. Anyways, yeah, let's just kind of build this thing and I'll show you guys the block palette that I was thinking. I don't know if it's going to be what I'm going to do, but we'll see. All right, so let me display the basic build palette for today. It might change a little bit here and there. I'm not exactly sure, but I think the framework of the actual like boat part of the airship is going to be stripped dark oak which is this lovely block color i absolutely love that brown very very nice with some mangrove wood i feel like the red is going to look really cool we don't have a whole lot of red in this world besides the flags and the lighthouse uh, as well as the boat i think but i've just really been enjoying the mangrove planks lately i feel like that's a great block let's just move this real quick <laughs> put it over there and then uh of course for the actual um balloon part of the ship i'm going to be using white wool so i feel like that's just the best block you can see we used it up over there and then from there um I might mix in a few of colors uh, that are of this nature. So we have stripped oak wood. I feel like this 
really light tan is a nice color. And then we have spruce planks as well, which is a nice offset to that. And then we have spruce logs. And of course, we can also strip these as well and get a nice in between. Um, so I think that's going to be our build palette for today. It looks, it should look pretty interesting. And we're going to do all sorts of little designs on the boat parts. It's going to be really nice. So anyways, that's our build palette for today. So you can see them all displayed out there. So I say, uh, let's just go ahead and let's just jump into this thing. I have no idea what this is going to look like. So it's going to be interesting and uh, it should be a lot of fun. So let's jump into it. There we go. I am really, really happy with how this is turning out so far. There's a couple more. I know it's a little hard to see because we have all the, <laughs> the dirt in the way, but there's a couple more little details I'd like to add to the outside. And then this thing is pretty much finished. I would like to do, I don't know, maybe some sort of like a window or something up here. I feel like that would be really cool. Um, maybe with some spruce trap doors, but you can kind of see I did like these little accents. I also did that on the bottom as well, just to kind of give it some more shape. Really um, kind of studied my own doing here of what was going on with this whole thing and just tried to replicate a lot of those designs and whatnot up there. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. I feel like it, I feel like it looks really cool. So uh, it's gonna be great to have that in the view now, but there's a few more things we need to do before we finish it. So I would like to get those details done. And then I think this is a complete build. What? No. I haven't died in like four years. No, dude. Oh, man. Thank gosh this isn't hardcore. Holy cow. That could have been so bad. <laughs> I haven't died in like four or five years, man. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe I died out of that. Oh, I was trying to keep that, that streak alive forever. I was going to see how long I could go without dying. I think I lasted about four years there. That is so annoying. I can't believe I died out of that, dude. What? All right. Well, that was a very disappointing death. I was not expecting to die in this video of all things. I haven't died in like five years. I can't believe that happened. Anyways, I think we're just about finished. There it is. It is a uh, pretty nice looking. There is some more details I would like to add and just kind of some random things. I want to make it look a little more busy. So I'm just going to go up there and add a whole bunch of random stuff on this balloon, make it look a little more interesting, and then we'll call it there. But I'm, I'm pretty happy with that so far. That was a lot of fun to build and honestly didn't even take that long. That was less than two hours, I think. Anyways, so um, yeah, let's just kind of finish it up and then we'll be done. Right. I believe we are finished for today for this airship. I am super, super excited to show you guys. I absolutely love how this turned out. This is my first time seeing it from down here. Are you ready? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I absolutely love it. I tried to like, if I can zoom in here, you can see I tried to like just hang stuff off the side like crazy to make it look a little more detailed, just very fantasy and 
I don't know, I was using all sorts of crazy design techniques, and I love how the balloon turned out as well. We have the spruce trap doors with the copper windows, um, the copper grates, that is, and then use some birch trap doors in there. We'll head up there so you guys can see it up close, but yeah, this is just one of my favorite builds on the world so far. I'm really enjoying building the boats recently. Obviously, we have this one over here. I absolutely love how this one had turned out. And then we have our Zelda the Wind Waker one out there. I feel like I'm becoming known for being the boat guy. I've just been building a ton of boats. And this one is no exception, except this one is in the air this time. But isn't that just... Oh, that is so cool. And the fact that I'm going to be able to see that forever now, just sitting up there, I absolutely love it. I forgot to make it tethered down, though, so I should definitely make some sort of tether <laughs> attached to that. You know what? I'm going to do that before we go up there and tour it. Now it should be tethered down. I absolutely love it. I love how that looks. If we zoom in here, you can see I use the grindstones to be like really heavy chains. Then we have another really heavy chain right there, and then it kind of just slopes off. And I did this thing where I wrapped the fences around one of the anchor things that I made, and it kind of looks like they tied a knot around that. And of course, it's got to be tethered down or else where is this thing going to go? It's going to fly away on its own. So I absolutely love that. And uh, yeah, I'm just super happy with how this turned out. This is such a cool build, and I'm proud of it as well since it's an original design. And of course, we use some inspiration from bits over here, like you can see the water wheel and just some of the cogs that I had made. So we kind of copied some of that stuff over um, and kind of made it in a similar style. And uh, that way we have kind of a little bit of a theme going on here, but you can see this one is very different from the way that this one had ended up turning out so yeah completely original design here i wasn't looking at any reference images for this one so this was all off the top of my head and i'm pretty proud of this one i like how it turned out so uh yeah i'll i'll go up there now and i'll show you guys the ship up close all right so here it is up close so this is what the other side looks like i didn't do as much detail on this side only because we won't really ever see it from this side but there's a little bit of stuff here and there so it doesn't look that different uh if you can see it there i know this isn't exactly the best way to show it there you go that's a little bit better of a view from this uh side but the other side i think definitely looks better and then on top of the ship here you can see there actually is a platform and an underneath section so we could use it for something it could be transformed into some sort of uh, thing, but I just don't know what I'm going to use it for yet. I don't really have any plans and I really just wanted to build a successor to our hot air balloon that we built over there. So, uh, yeah, now we have this thing. Uh, let me know what you think we could turn it into. Um, because I know I usually say this, but actually this time I have no idea what this would be used for. <laughs> it's so high up in the air. I guess maybe we could put like our elytra stuff in here when we need to like restock fireworks and rockets. I feel like that could be cool. Um, but anyways, I think that's going to be it for this build today. This is what it looks like up here, obviously. Just wanted to show you guys up close, but that is pretty much uh, it for the airship. We'll take a, take a look at it from some different point of views here. Here's what it looks like from far away as well. It's actually a really nice picture. Unfortunately, I am too far away, though. That is not going to work. I think it'll look nice with the shaders right about here. This is where I've been viewing it for the most part, right in front of the sun. That is a very beautiful little boat right there. I am happy with that. Just take a look at the world as well from up here. Like this thing is coming along. We've got some, some nice builds over here, except for that. I'm going to tear down that Ferris wheel. <laughs> We're making something different there. Well, if you guys are wondering how I do thumbnails, this is usually how I do it. So I just like scaffold up in a point that I like, and then I actually go into the options here. And if you go to your FOV and turn it all the way down, it zooms in very nicely like this and you can get some nice shots. So I feel like, I don't know if this is going to be the exact thumbnail that I use for this video, but this is usually how I do it. So I usually will do this like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 15 times from a whole bunch of different perspectives and just pick whichever one I like the best. So if you are a creator yourself and you want some interesting thumbnails that aren't too over the top, this is a great way to do that. And uh, you can get a whole bunch of cool different results. So I'm probably going to be doing this for the next 20 minutes or so trying to find the exact angle that i like because remember the thumbnail is the most important part of your video that's what people see first 
All right, before we end off today's video, of course, we have to answer our comment of the day. But before we even do that, we actually have some new donators to thank. So again, thank you guys very, very much for the donations. Of course, you never have to do that. So I very much appreciate if you do. It really does help me out a ton. So uh, we have a 20 from Owen Rimbo. Thank you very much, Owen. He did actually leave a request as well that I think said to name him after a black cat. So uh, we'll have to to get that done for him and then we also have a nice little three dollar donation from bayou iman thank you very much guys again greatly greatly appreciated so we'll have to name a black cat after owen and then i honestly i think i'm just gonna name him after villagers as well <laughs> so we might do two little things maybe we'll get like a villager and uh the black cat for owen but i don't even know how to get cats in minecraft so we're gonna have to figure that out and i don't have a whole ton of time today i've got to get this episode out and i've got to take care of some other stuff so unfortunately we can't get to that today owen i am sorry but i will get to that in the next episode for sure guaranteed uh thank you for your donation uh anyways of course yeah let's answer the comment of the day i believe my book is over on top of the hill here all right, I'm actually going to turn on the shaders for today while we answer this question. There we go. Very, very nice. Do I have my bed on me? I'm going to need that in a bit here. But today's question actually comes from, I think, Scott yet again. So he has a back to back here. So, uh, of course, if you guys want your comment answered, please leave them in the section below. And I usually um, I pick the uh, the best one that I find down there that has the best question. So today's question comes from Scott again. He says, I didn't even know some of these details existed. Uh, I love the little details. It all adds up and makes it feel more immersive, like it's got history. Do you ever think you'll restart your world or will you just keep building on this one indefinitely? Now, the reason I picked that question is because I love that little last bit there. Do I ever plan on restarting or will I build on this world indefinitely? And the answer to that question is I 100% think that I, at least at this point in time, I will be playing on this world indefinitely for as long as I can see in the future. And that's why I absolutely love this world. I've had it for such a long time already well over five years now and i plan on keeping it for many many years in the future and for whatever reason i don't know what it is about minecraft and maybe it's just you know the history attached to the world and all that that makes me want to play it more having had that was hard to say having had this world for as long as i've had it I just love the fact that there are so many builds on this world from such different time periods. Like this is such a 2017 windmill uh, that it was very old um, when I built that copied off of a Google image that was well before I was making videos. This house was built in 2018, remodeled in 2024 recently. This castle started in 2018, 2019 when Whip's channel was starting to blow up. That's what a lot of this was based off of was some of his older builds. And so I just love having that history on this world. So many of these builds are built in different time periods, like especially um, Obviously, we have our airship, which is uh, very modern looking compared to the old school 2018 style airship over there. But this right here, this is such a modern Minecraft build. This is way more advanced than any of the stuff that I had ever done before, um, especially, you know, taking a lot of tips from Grayson and Shovel with this one and how they built it. And um, again, you know, just kind of re reapplying those techniques up here with the silo, the gradients as well. You can see here that that's why this world means a lot to me is because I've had it for such a long time and I plan on keeping it in the future um, for many, many years to come for that reason. Um, I just love having the variety, the duration, the history, being able to visit stuff that you built years ago is really, um, really a cool concept to me. But anyways, as the sun sets, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so, so much to everyone who has subscribed. We are about to hit 4,800 subscribers, which is awesome. And of course, as you know, at 5K, we will be doing a world download. So we're almost there. So if you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know if you're new. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. That's it for today. See you later.